hello everyone welcome back to my channel as part of today's video we are going to do a portal walkthrough of Sitecore XM cloud and we'll see what different features it has to explore so the first step is we have to log into portal.sitecorecloud.io you can check if you already have access for that or not otherwise you can check with Sitecore also on that so once you log into portal.sitecorecloud.io so this is the view which you are going to get so let's just see what different options we have here so first you have a welcome screen right then uh, there's a message here then on the quick actions you you will find options to update your profile you can invite a team also uh, here then you can manage your projects then you can open pages explorer content editor and these options also we are going to check further then uh, whatever apps you have already created you will see all those apps listed here so if you have an app for staging, production, INT, you know, different environments, you will find all those different apps here. On the right hand side, you will find a help center where you will find different links related to you know, uh, documentation around Circle Cloud documentation, XM Cloud documentation, support, developer portal, if you have any you know, things you can check here and if you want to create a support case also you can create here. So everything related to help you can find here. Then you also have some suggestions like Sitecode community events uh, on learning at sitecode.net and then discover Sitecode. So these are the few th things which you will find in terms of Sitecode support. So uh, yeah, so here uh, um, it basically shows your current organization. So right now it is Voltec Hackathon. So this is the um, organization we have created. And then uh, if you are part of uh, uh, organization like if you're part of multiple organization then if you click on these dots you will find uh, you'll find a switch here and if you click on this switch you will see like what different organizations you are part of so it is Voltec Hackathon 2 and then just Voltec so it's up to you like which organization you want to work with and you can um, you know select that organization so organization you can think of as you know your account with Sitecore right because uh, from organization itself you start setting up your users permissions projects and environment so right now I'm into my Voltec Hackathon 2 uh, organization and from here I'll start adding my projects, my environments, right? So let's just get started. So let me just click on manage my projects. So the first step is we will be creating project and for ev each project we, we will have our environments right all these environments you can see here as part of your apps and then for every environment uh, there can exist site so we will see how to create a site also so let's just click on manage my projects so once you click on manage my projects it's take you to uh, Sitecore you know Sitecore cloud deploy application and you don't have to basically uh, you know log in it again so in this portal you will see like what different projects uh, all uh, what different projects we have there so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new project so let's just click on create new project so in this pop-up you will find we have two options so when we so we are starting to create a project and project has two options either we can use and start a template which is provided by Sitecore or if you already have an XM cloud uh, code available with us from where we want to spin up this uh, environment like so we can use that code also but at this point of time uh, as we don't have that code so let's just go with start a template so just click on that click on next and then uh, this is the starter template it is called XM cloud foundation so just click on that click on next now it so right now here you see like we have the starter template selected as XM cloud foundation so the next step is select the project name so you have to create a project um, give a project name here so let me just click, give it as sitecore uh, xm cloud demo right so this is our project and click on next so now yes so, so the second thing is uh, you have to basically link your xm cloud instance with your uh, github right so yeah let's just click on next and then it basically asks if you want to um, link with your existing github connection or if you want to create a new github connection so for me in this case like I already have a connection there so let me just select this one okay Joshi and uh, if you 
let, let's say if you're uh, if in your case uh, you don't see your existing github account linked here then you can just click on create a new github connection and then follow the process and that should get you started there uh, yes so just click on next so now you can see uh, the repository account is Anki Joshi repository name it's up to you like what repository name you want to follow so let me just follow as sitecore uh, xm cloud demo so that is what I'm just giving as a repository name here which is okay click on next now so here you have to give the environment name whether it's a production environment or not and if you want to trigger the deployment after every commit you make into your branch right so for now it is just no it is not a production environment so it is also no let's just give an environment name and let me just give it as sitecore xm cloud demo int right so this is just some environment name I've given so then let's just click on create and deploy it's taking a while let's just wait for it right so now we are into this deployment screen so now here you can see the deploy is in progress so it is doing the provisioning basically your XM cloud instance is going to spin up from here though all the necessary you know uh, resources it is provisioning here then uh, once the provisioning things is done basically the provisioning and build goes side and side in parallel and once the provisioning and build is completed then it basically starts the deployment and post actions also if it um, if there is any post actions there so let's just wait for this provisioning build steps to get completed and um, and then we take it forward from there You can also click on the details to see what exactly is happening so right now you see like it is uh, the setup is being completed the build is also going in parallel yeah so let's just wait for it for some more time so the provisioning is all done build is still going on so the build process is also completed now the deployment is in progress so starting deployment of environment site code xm cloud demo int yeah let's just wait for this also to complete so now we see the deployment is also completed so from here if we click on launchpad just click on that okay so our XM dashboard page is also available now so in this page you can see like we have content editor media library workbox so these are uh, you know um, these are the normal uh, uh, tools which are uh, which are available before also here like you will see f few um, different options like pages components and Explorer so if I click on content editor okay so here comes our site core and as of now there is nothing um, inside our home because there is no site which uh, which has been you know created so far so let's just go back to uh, yeah, this is completed so now the f another thing which uh, which I want to show you here is now if I go back to my uh, home page so from here if we go to our app section we should see the new app which we just created right so if I click on show more so this is the new app which I created right sitecore xm cloud demo right so if I click on this uh, app on on your right hand side you will find quick actions like open pages if you want to create pages explorer right if you want to create you know content and uh, open content editor this is just like how we uh, this is the same content editor right so uh, what we can do is we can also click on open so this open is nothing but um, is a launch pad 
right so if I click on this one it um, goes to your dashboard and from there you can just select whatever options you want to you know do that so let me just click on open here again and here in this screen we have three tabs right so we have sites we have tools and then we have settings so tools we have already seen so this is what comes as part of tools okay uh, it is not there so in, in inside tools you will find all these different options and inside sites so now uh, so in terms of hierarchy like we have project then inside project we have um, an environment right an environment could be um, you know like uh, for a specific brand or for a specific uh, you know let's say your integration staging prod or like that right so you can create as many different environments under one project and if you feel like there is uh, the you know the environments has to be different which means you know there are two different uh, business units which you are operating right uh, their their business is entirely different and there is no way they're going to share the content then you can create a new project and then start creating new environment for that new project right so you don't have to basically create it everything under one project so you have a project that that is specific to a brand and under that brand you create your uh, environments and inside environments you can create your instance and that instance um, can host you know many sites like it, it basically supports a multi-site also so now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new website so just click go to your sites tab click on add your first website just click on that and here you will find we have two options as in template we have empty site template and then we have a basic site template why to choose empty when we have basic so just click on basic and give your site a name so I'm just going to give as demo uh, XM cloud and you basically define language which is English by default so our site name is this click on create website so your website creation is uh, in progress let's just wait for this to complete okay so our website is also now ready so if I click on this one just click on your website okay so in this website you'll find we have home and then your about and uh, basically you have your uh, visiting editor what you see is what you get you you know start creating your content however you want add your more contents add you no know, data to that and uh, yeah this is horizon based uh, you know editor and then if you want to preview it you can just click on preview and you will find you know the same thing over here also so this was the preview I can just close it this was on page because we are just trying to add pages you can just click on um, you know these three dots next to a specific page item and if you want to create a page folder you want to edit something you can do that just click on create page select what kind of page you want to create and maybe I just call it as sample here just click on that and then once you have your sample page you just start adding content there you have your components here uh, maybe let me add uh, page content to start with and it is adding the page content component to a newly created page sample let me just put something here test content right and then yes so you have these things you can basically you know add as many content you want say it gets saved uh, and then you add pages and all that so this is what you get with XM cloud so yeah and just one more thing which I want to show you here is because you remember when we created the project we actually specified uh, the repository details there like the cloud the repository name where exactly Sitecore will you know push all the uh, code which ultimately gets deployed to your XM cloud instance so if I go to my repositories click on this one and you will find like we have the Sitecore XM cloud demo so this is what we we gave there as a repository name and then you'll find uh, you know there are different things which it has um, added over here and you can use this starter kit um, as your reference point you start adding content there and then basically we go from there right so that's how we do that and uh, let's just do this again so what we did we just created a new project 
and uh, after creating a project we created an environment right and this is the environment which we uh, which we just created which is available under apps after creating an environment we also created a website and this website is available uh, for you under sites tab and under tools you will find those options which you have seen before also like content editor control panel scripts and everything else then uh, if you want to add content you can add the content over there you have your pages you add pages from here you add components right so all those different things are available for you this is the pages things which we were uh, talking about before and then yeah this deployment is also completed and here is your content editor so let me just refresh this because now we have the demo site created there so if we go to our content editor just refresh it and you will find we have demo xm cloud if i click on this one you see we have it is a headless tenant and then you have a basic scaffolding in place which has only home page and about page and the, the sample page which we just created so that's how it goes so this is what i just want to cover as part of um, today's uh, uh, walkthrough and we will have more sessions on xm cloud uh, in future i hope you liked it and if you haven't tried xm cloud um, still i would suggest you uh, give it a try get the credentials try your credentials if you already have access to that if you don't have credentials check with your site code team get the credentials and start you know let this get started from there uh, if you have any questions in terms of things which you have already covered today please uh, uh, please ask your questions and uh, we'll go from there thanks everyone thank you